Hello, dear student, this is Shailesh Devda Janbandhu, Assistant Professor, Department of Bicom Computer Application, GS College of Commerce, Vardha. My subject is Fundamental of Computers for Bicom Computer Application Part 1, Same 1. Today we discuss about the syllabus of Fundamental of Computer. As we know, all the subjects has four units. The fundamental of computers also have a four units. In first unit, we should understand the computer, means the introduction, means what is a computer, evaluation or the enhancement which are made in computers, generations that is uh, enhancement in hardware and software from first generation computers to the fifth generation and the artificial intelligence. Classifications of computers just like according to size, according to the nature, according to the application, different type of computers are available. We say that the computers are same, but according to their size, we distinguish or classify in mini, micro, super, likewise. Same way, applications on uh, application computer uh, or special type of computers which are made for specific task. Same as application of computers, different type of applications just like in computers are used, here application means not a software, here application means the use of computers in different sectors just like banking sector, airline uh, sector. Uh, then we can say that office management, all these things are used in a application. In recently, we use uh, uh, application soft, uh, com computers in uh, shops also because all the bills are generated by computers nowadays. Next topic in unit 1 is memory and storage system. As we know, the memory is most important because all the data will be stored into the computer system. To store that data into uh, computer system, we need a memory. So, different type of memories are available. Memory, how a memory can be represented, what are the RAM, what are the ROM, different type of storage system just like uh, magnetic disk system, optical storage, magneto optical storage, sto solid state storage devices. As we know, uh, we stored our data in our phone also, but the data will be stored in memory, not in a phone. Same way, the data will be stored into the computer system on memory that is called hard disk or pen drive or uh, CD drive, these all things can be store, uh, uh, these all things can be used to store the data. Optical storage system just like CD drive, CD, uh, compact disk, the data will be stored on bitmap, magneto optical system just like hard disk and solid state storage devices just like our pen drive and the memory cards. The second unit is having two chapters that is input devices, output devices, computer codes. Input devices, input devices are the those devices by which we can provide the data to the computer system. All we know Com, uh, computer cannot work without data because when we provide instructions or data to the computer system that data can be processed by a computer system. So, computer need a data through input devices we can provide the data to the computer just like when we want to provide any command that time we use pointing devices and keyboard devices. Just like keyboard device we type alphanumerical data or when we want to provide the command using the keyboard or type the command using the keyboard that time the data will be transferred by user using keys which are available on our keyboard that data will be transferred to the memory of a computer system and translate it into their <coughs> format. 
pointing devices just like mouse is a pointing device touch screen is a pointing device by which we can touch a specific point uh, on our uh, monitor or our screen joystick is a pointing device same as scanning devices also a input device scanning devices scanner is used to scan hard copy into and convert into the soft copy that is called as a scanning scanning means just transfer from hard copy to soft copy hard copy any type of printed material is called as a hard copy and whatever on your screen on desktop screen laptop screen or mobile screen is called as a soft copy and that can be done through the scanning devices optical recognition devices just like uh, uh, blu rays or thumb scanner or uh, laser beam these are the optical by which we can uh, translate data or provide data to the computer system just like you see the uh, barcode reader qr code reader are the optical recognition devices through which we scan particular qr code or barcode and that barcode can be converted into the information same way digital camera voice rec recognition system data acquisition sensor media input devices just like media input devices our headphones are media input devices through which we can provide the data to the computer system output devices <coughs> same way when we want to provide the data to the computer system that uh, operation is called input and when computer system process that data and provide the information on our screen is called output and that can be provided through the output devices just like first output device of any computer system is screen or monitor we have different type of monitors crt screen led screen our laptop screen these are the monitors on which our data will be presented in a soft copy manner so our first output device is monitors second one printers when we want to uh, convert that soft copy into hard copy that time we need a printers and printers we have different type of printers laser printer dot matrix printer daisy wheel printer these are the types of printer and each and every printer has uh, or the printers has two types one is laser printer and second one is a uh, hammer printer dot matrix are the hammer printer yeah, it is also called as a impact printer and non impact printer ok next one voice output system projectors terminals voice output system just like speakers are the voice output system when we uh, use mic that time we provide the data to the computer and that voice is written by a computer system through the speakers so speakers are the output voice output system projectors projectors are the equipment attached with our computer system or laptop to give a broad or a big screen uh, projections that uh, for that we use the product pro projectors next topic is computer code computer code just like we say that computer cannot understand the high level language high level language are those language which is understand only by a human human can understand human can write human can read this type of language is called as a high level language but but computer system cannot understand this high level language it only understand the binary language so when we type anything or provide the data to computer system in a high level language that data cannot be understand by the computers that data can be converted into the low level language or machine level language by using the translators or compilers or assemblers that particular languages or systems are converted into codes and that code are decimal binary hexadecimal 
octal system and all these conversions and that can be accessible only by a computer system. When a computer system convert the high level language into low level or machine level language that time it only use the binary system. It means it can be converted data into 0 and 1 pulses, 1 means on and 0 means off. When pro after the process the output will be displayed on our screen, but that output can be created by the computer system in a binary. But after the binary conversion, it will translate it into high level language and provide the high level language on our computer screen. So, computers only understand binary language that is called machine level language and human can only understand the high level language. Next unit is unit third and it has three chapters that is computer software, programming language and data communication network. Computer software, if we do not have a operating system or application software, we cannot do a single thing with a computer. If computer does not have operating system, we cannot open or on that computer system. It is just a black box because we cannot work on it. So, to to manipulate, to manage, we need a softwares. We have two types of softwares, computer software that is system software and application software. System software are those software which manage the computer system. The, it is also called a operating software or oper operating system. It can manage all the things, all the peripherals, all the uh, keyboard, mouse, these are called as a peripheral of a computer system and these peripherals can be managed by a uh, system software that software is called as a operating system. Second type is application software. If a computer system or a laptop have, have only operating system, we can on the computer system or laptop or de de desktop PC, but we cannot work on it. We need or when we want to work on it, we need a additional software that is called as a application software. When we want to create a document, we need a office, MS office or if we want to make a salary slip, we need a spreadsheet. If we, we, we want to make a PowerPoint, we need a sorry slideshow, we need a PowerPoint. So, every work is done on a specific software and that specific software are called as a application software. Second to uh, topic is programming language. Programming language just like according to generation of computers, in third generation we introduce a programming languages means by which we can create or we can develop a computer software just like C language, Visual Basic, PowerPoint sorry uh, Visual Basic, VB.NET, Python, Java these are the programming languages. Why we need a programming language? Because everything cannot be done on computer system. We need a application software to do the work and that application software can be developed by the programming languages. So, the uh, programming like history of programming language, generation of programming languages, why we need a programming language and how we can develop a program in different languages and how it is to be run can be uh, learned in this section or program language section. Data communication and network, it is a third chapter in unit 3. Data communication, when we use a computer system that time it is called as a network because each and everything attached with a CPU with wire or wireless. In CPU, we attach keyboard, we attach mouse, we attach printer, monitor and all these things can create a system in it and it is nothing but a network. Network means interconnectivity of parts or computer system is called as a network. Now, a network has some 
need some communication because when we press a key on keyboard so a key can be displayed on our monitor but this a key can be communicated first to the cpu central processing unit that can be converted and displayed on a monitor so we need a network to work on a particular computer system we have different type of network computer network and that network is called as a topologies different type of topologies are there bus topology ring topology star topology then protocols of software application network these are the networks or these are the data communication networks through which we can communicate with one computer to another one peripheral to another peri peripheral and this can be done only through the networks now fourth unit is operating system and microsoft software operating system just uh, before that when we introduce the softwares we have two type of software that is operating system software and application software here is a detailed information about the operating software history of operating software just like if we consider the uh, uh, earlier we have dos operating system means we cannot have any graphical user interface all the things are done on the command line prompt or black screen but when the windows operating system is introduced that time we will get a graphical user interface that is called as a desktop pc on which everything is <laughs> on the form of <coughs> icons <coughs> functions of operating system process management memory management file management device management security management these are the functions performed by a operating system just like process management means each and everything goes to the operating system if we need to type if we need to manipulate if we need to scan everything can be done or managed by the operating system therefore it is a process management process it has expanded process executed run time and sleep time all these process times or processes can be managed by the operating system memory management we already state that everything goes on to the memory on ram always a hard disk when we want to store data temporary or uh, work on a computer system that data always on a temporary manner but when we want to store that data permanently that time we need a access of hard disk or memory that memory management can be done only through operating system application system has the capability to take or store um, access data but cannot have a uh, power or a, uh, authority to store that data into memory this can be done only by the operating system next one file management same as file folders can be managed by the computer system on which drive on which uh, particular sector the data will be stored it can be managed by operating system device management security management this also can be done through operating system types of operating system provide user interface and popular operating system just like dos windows unix xenix these are the operating systems which can be used to operate our computer system microsoft software introduction of ms dos ms word system ms excel system ms powerpoint system ms access system word is used to uh, provide or create the documentation ms excel is used to create the excel sheet ms powerpoint used to create a slide show or powerpoint slide show access is used to store the data into uh, database this uh, on this particular chapter all the all our practicals are based on the word excel powerpoint and access so this is our syllabus now we see the paper pattern of a fundamental of computer system we have in uh, paper pattern we have three parts that is part a which carries two marks or which carries eight questions having two marks and the answer should not be more than five lines each question 
answer should not be more than five lines so first part having the eight question each question has two marks and total marks is 16 the first two questions are always from the unit one second two questions means c and d questions from unit two e and f question from unit three and g and h question from the unit four means consider each and every unit has two question two marks two questions second part b part it also ha have eight questions but it carries three marks each question carries three marks answer should not more than 10 lines answer should not more than 10 lines and its wattage is 24 marks same way the pattern for the b part two question from unit one two question from unit two two question from unit three and two question from unit four part three each question carries five or ten marks in part three each question carries five or ten marks should ans uh, answer should not be more than 400 words for five mark question answer should not be in more than 400 words for five mark question and 600 words for 10 mark question respectively <coughs> part c has a either pattern either pattern means group 1 or group 2 cannot uh, only uh, answer group 1 or group 2 both question or both group cannot be solved group 1 that is a and b having the five marks each and group 2 that is c has 10 marks means two question on five marks from unit one one question for 10 marks from unit one for the question one same way for the question two from unit two five marks two question 10 marks one question question 3 it also from the either pattern a and b from question, uh, unit 3 and 10 marks question from unit 3 question 4 it is also either pattern for the unit 4 a and b each for 5 marks from unit 4 c 10 marks from unit 4 So, this is our syllabus for semester 1, Fundamental of Computers. Thank you.